Hey everyone, welcome back to Tradition Algo. There is a saying that every person has different and unique talents. We just have to trust in ourselves and find the thing in which we are best. Similarly, most expert advisors or trading robots are not actually bad in the true sense. We have to find the right settings for that EA. What is optimization and why do we need it? Before we dive into optimization, let's understand what optimization is and why it's crucial for algorithmic trading strategies. Optimization involves finding the best combination of parameters for our trading strategy to maximize its performance and profitability. When we run the optimization, then MT4 or MT5 runs the EA with these combinations and displays the results to us. In the case of our moving average crossover EA, we'll optimize parameters such as the periods of the moving averages, stop loss and take profit levels, and any other relevant settings. Without optimization, our EA may not perform optimally, and we might miss out on potential profits or incur unnecessary losses. In today's video, we're going to dive into the world of algorithmic trading and explore how to optimize a basic moving average crossover expert advisor in both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Moving average crossover is a popular trading strategy and optimizing it can help us improve its performance and profitability. The process is similar to any other EA. If you follow it diligently, then you can optimize any EA. And not only that, I will tell you a secret trick. With that trick, you can optimize your EAs a lot faster. So let's get started. Understanding Moving Average Crossover Strategy First, let's quickly review the Moving Average Crossover Strategy. This strategy involves using two moving averages of different periods, a faster one and a slower one. When the faster moving average crosses above the slower one, it generates a buy signal, and when it crosses below, it generates a sell signal. Setting up the basic EA in MT4 and MT5. Now let's move on to setting up our basic moving average crossover EA in both MT4 and MT5. I have already developed one basic moving average crossover EA, which have lots of other features, but for the sake of simplicity, I will disable other settings and will just concentrate on crossover signals. Identifying parameters to optimize. Before we dive into optimization, we need to identify the parameters we want to optimize. In our case, these parameters could include the inputs related to the two moving averages, the stop loss and take profit levels, and any other relevant settings. I will keep the remaining parameters to default values. I would like to discuss two inputs from the general settings. The first one is no new entry if trade exists. This will ensure that if there is a running trade, we will not place a new trade even if there is a crossover. The second one is trade on new bar. This input is very important. It tells the EA to check the crossover only at the beginning of a candle. This helps to filter false signals. If we set it to false, then the EA looks for the signals every tick. This has a major drawback, which I will discuss at the end. Using the strategy tester for optimization. In both MT4 and MT5, we can use the built-in strategy tester to optimize our EA. We'll demonstrate how to use the strategy tester to backtest different combinations of parameters and identify the most profitable settings. So let's first open the MT4 strategy tester. For that, we have to go to the toolbar and click on view. Then select strategy tester from the menu. A strategy tester helps us backtest the indicators and expert advisors. In the first dropdown, we have to select expert advisor. Now on this dropdown, we have to select our EA. I will select my MA crossover strategy here. Below this, we have a symbol dropdown. We have to select the symbol on which we want to optimize your EA. Then we have to specify the time frame on which we want to run the optimization. Let me select a higher time frame. So I will select 30 minutes. I have chosen the higher time frame because if I select lower time frames, then the EA checks more candles and gives slower results and it will stretch the video. Next, let me select the model as every tick. This mode gives the most accurate results as it runs the EA on every tick mode, which emulates the live trading scenarios. There is one more option which we can choose to get faster optimization results, but that gives wrong results, but don't lose hope. We can utilize that mode also. In the end, I will discuss that. 
In spread drop down, select current. If you have zero spread, then you can type zero and perform the optimization. Next, we have to select the checkbox for use date. When we select that, we have to choose the from and to date. For now, I will run the optimization for one month. So first, I will select the from date drop down and select the current date. Then I will go to the previous month and select first day of the month. Now I am selecting the to date to the current date. The checkbox for visual mode should be always unchecked as it significantly reduced performance of testing. Next, we have to check the optimization option here. Now the final part of the settings. We have to click on the expert properties. As discussed before, we are only going to optimize a few inputs. So I will quickly check those inputs first. Here are the inputs. Stop loss. Take profit, MA1 period, which is the fast moving average. MA2 period, which is the slow moving average. I am not selecting other inputs because the more we select inputs, the more time it is going to take for the optimization. Settings the optimization range. We have identified what inputs have to be considered when we are optimizing our EA. Now it's time to select their range. For every input which we select, there are three columns which we need to set for optimization. We call these columns a range. The first column is the start, which means what should be the starting value of this input when the MT4 slash MT5 terminal starts to pick a random value for this input during optimization. Next is the step. It indicates while trying this different combination how much amount it should increase the previously selected random input. For example, if it selected 15 at the previous combination and we mention step is 2, then on next combination it will select the value 17. The last one is the stop. It indicates up to which value the step or increment of the input value should be performed. It is the maximum value, which is considered during the test for that input. So I will simply select the stop loss, start as 10, step value as 2, and stop as 80. It means during optimization, the EA checks which stop loss value between 10 to 80 gives the best result in combination with other parameters. During this search, the stop loss will be incremented two pips on each test randomly. I will set the same range for take profit as well. Now I will select the MA, one start value as five. The step is three and the stop is 50. For MA two, I will set it as 33 and 200. Now you may ask a question that what if the optimization selects a big value for the MA1 period than MA2, then fast and slow EMA would be the opposite and it would give the wrong result. For that you have two options. You can export the optimization result in an Excel sheet and discard the records where the MA1 period is greater than the MA2 period. Otherwise in code you can write a logic to skip the optimization where the MA1 period is greater than the MA2 period. I will repeat the same process for MT5 now. So let's quickly open the MT5 terminal. Click on View, then select Strategy Tester. It will give lots of options. We need to select Visualize. Now this looks a lot similar to the MT4 Strategy Tester, right? All the fields of MT4 are present here. I will select a date range similar to the MT4. Here we can directly choose the last month's data from the dropdown. Additionally, we can set the delays. It places the trades with some initial delay during optimization. Ideally, we should select the second option in the drop-down because that copies the current ping delay for the broker account where we are running the optimization. MT5 gives more advanced options to emulate the slippage and trading margin-related configuration. In the optimization drop-down, we need to select the fast genetic-based algorithm. In order to set the input ranges, we need to go to the input tab. If you closely look at the layout, it is very similar to the MT41. Here also, we will set the range for stop loss, take profit, MA1 period, which is the fast moving average, MA2 period, which is the slow moving average. Now it is time to take some action. I will click on the start optimization in both tabs. As you can see, it started the optimization, and as we have selected every tick, it is going to be very slow. Even for higher time frames, it is showing seven to eight hours to finish. Similarly, on MT5, I am going to start the optimization. You can imagine that for lower time frames, it can take weeks. 
If you click on the Optimization Results tab, then you can see how many profitable settings it has found already. Analyzing Optimization Results Once we've run our optimization tests, we'll analyze the results to identify which parameter values produce the best performance. We'll look at metrics such as profit factor, drawdown, and number of trades to determine the optimal settings. So as you can see, our optimization will take 10 hours to complete. We are not going to sit till then, right? So I am stopping the optimization. Ideally, when the entire optimization is finished, then you will get lots of optimization records in the result. You have to sort those results based on profit and drawdown. So I will choose the best result in this list. After selecting the result, when you will right-click, then you will find an option of Set as Input Parameter. Now again, go to the Settings tab. If you open the Expert Properties now, you can see that the default inputs have been changed, and it has set the input values according to the optimization result we have selected. Finally, let's click on Start. As soon as you click on the Start button, a tab called Graph will appear. If you click on that tab, it will show how your account balance has increased or decreased over time. Just before the Graph tab, there is a Result tab. Upon clicking this tab, you can see how different trades were placed. The process is similar for MT5, so I will quickly switch to MT5 and run back testing on one of the results. Now that we have finished the optimization in both MT4 and MT5, there will be a consolidated report for both MT4 and MT5. In MT4, the name of the tab is Report. On the other hand, in MT5, it is called as Backtest. First, let me open the MT4 Report tab. You can see the entire details of the backtesting in this tab. Some of the most important parameters to check are as follows. Total net profit, total trades, profit factor, maximal drawdown, relative drawdown, and there are many others. You can export this report as a HTML page. When you right-click, there is an option called Save as Report. As you can see, it has generated a nice HTML report, which you can share with your clients. Now, similarly, if we go to MT5, then there are similar parameters in the Backtest tab. MT5 Report is way more detailed than MT4. And we can similarly export the report like MT4 in this way. Fine tuning and validation. After identifying the optimal parameters, we'll do some additional fine tuning and validation to ensure that our optimized EA performs well under different market conditions. This may involve forward testing on demo accounts or using other validation techniques. Conclusion. And there you have it. By optimizing our basic moving average crossover EA in both MT4 and MT5, we've learned how to improve its performance and increase its profitability. Now, before ending this video, I'm going to give you a pro tip to make the optimization a lot faster for MT4 and MT5. As you already know, though every tick back testing is accurate, it is very slow. On the other hand, open price testing is fast, but its result does not match with every tick testing. The reason behind this in open price mode, EA only checks the conditions at the beginning of a new candle. For the rest of the time, it does not do any calculation. It makes the EA way faster. So if you can add this same feature in your EA, then open price backtesting and every tick backtesting results will be very close. But wait, will that be exactly similar? The answer is no. Because if you have stop loss and take profit in your trades, in open price backtesting, Trades will not be close at the exact amount of pips. Rather, they will close if the current stop loss or take profit is greater than the mentioned amount at the beginning of the candle. For this reason, if you want to make them exactly similar, then inside your EA, stop loss and take profit should not be set in pips. Rather, it should be in amount. It will act as a virtual stop loss and take profit. So whenever the stop loss 
and take profit amount for a trade is reached, EI will manually check that and close the trade. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more trading tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy trading. I hope you find the information helpful and insightful in your trading journey. Like I always say, trading is a continuous learning process and there is always something new to discover. Always remember to approach trading with discipline, patience and sound risk management strategy. Keep learning, keep growing. Lastly, remember to subscribe my channel for more trading content and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Also, feel free to comment with any questions or suggestions for the future topics you would like us to cover. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.